break may be over and learning looks very different for students. They start alternative method of instruction or AMI days. The governor's office extended AMI days for 15 days because of COVID-19. THV 11's Vanessa Page has a look at how schools and parents are making it work. As schools work to distribute laptops and work packets this week, they're looking at all options to make sure they have all the tools they need. Learning right now looks different than what it does in a traditional classroom. This week, educators are making sure students can succeed at home. Everybody just needs to give themselves a little bit of grace and time. We don't expect the parents to become the new teacher. All right, but we expect educators to be able to provide resources. AMI days will look different across the state as teachers use distance learning or hand out packets of work. You have teachers actually calling parents or calling students or doing Zoom calls with small groups of students. If you have questions, there's a newly set up AMI hotline, which will be manned from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Benton Junior High is taking on several ways to submit assignments, from emailing teachers photos of the work to using Google Classroom. They put out a drop box with a panther on it in front of the school for those that are turning in their assignments that are paper assignments, and all you have to do is put your name on it and they'll make sure that it gets to the appropriate teacher. But I think that's just another way that we're we're all trying to make this all work. Bitten Public Schools will also be distributing devices to students who need one this week. School districts across the state are still learning, uh, trying to figure out how we can make sure every student is truly accommodated. We know that Wi-Fi is a big issue right now. If you need help accessing the programming or with lessons, we have the help desk information for you over at THV11.com.